I just did the pootie tag. <laughs> <laughs> do you know? Do you know what that was from? The movie. Yeah, yeah that was what, from Pootie Tang. It was like Sada. I was acting like I was singing, Sada. like, and nothing was coming out of my mouth because I was doing a mic check. Okay, <laughs> well, it's been a long time since I met you. I can't remember the rest of the words. Um, well, what's today's date? I can't remember. Uh, 22nd? Yes, the 22nd. The 22nd day in the 11th month in the year 2016 in the 2016 election games are over. Mm -hmm. It's a wrap. And people are freaking out. Yeah. Yeah, well, I haven't looked in the Twitterverse for a minute, but... Um, yeah, last we checked, there was some protests. There's com some complaining about President-elect Donald Trump. And um, basically, this is just going to be a discussion about the results. And we did a little bit of research, a little bit of uh, intelligence hunting and gathering, just so we can sort of kind of uh, wrap our heads around this whole awesome 2016 <laughs> electric games. <laughs> Is it electric? Election games. and um, Electric. Yeah. Definitely sparking. Yeah, it's sparking. <laughs> sparking. Well, you can see a lot of people, like how you said, are butt hurt. Um, and now I feel like I'm talking in a loop. So let's go ahead and, and um, knock this out because this one, we just want to bang it out. Bang it out. Yeah. So what are the facts? The facts. The facts is Donald Trump won. Mm -hmm. What do you think about 45th that? 45th president. He's the 45th president? I so. Yeah. 45th president. Come January 20th. Yeah, president-elect Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who would have thunk? Ha, huh, I did. But... Simpsons <laughs> predicted it. Oh, yeah, lots of people <laughs> did. But, yeah, it's, 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 it's um, I guess, very interesting for a lot of people since they're um, freaking out because they can't understand how this guy won. It seems so unseemly for most people. Yeah. Yeah, but then when you talk to them and you ask them why... Um, I'm not really getting any proper feedback. What about yourself? I think everyone had their different reasons. I think the main reason we're seeing is economic. Economic? Based. So you're talking about people that just can't make uh, ends meet. They see their jobs uh, going away. Maybe small town factory workers. The middle America where all the red states were. Wait, these are the people you've been talking to? No, these are the people I've been reading about as a general sentiment as to who the average Trump voter is. Oh, you're talking about the average Trump voter. Allegedly. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so then the, the Rust Belt people. Yeah, you asked yeah. What, why, why were people voting for Trump, and this is usually the, the comment I've been reading about was he's going to change the economy, i.e. make America great again. You've got other people thinking more social reasons. You have some people thinking... Uh, foreign policy, but the majority of people um, that I've been reading about voted for him for economic reasons. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I think I asked the question of why people were butthurt about him. Uh, why people yeah. were butthurt? Yeah. Because they lost. Yeah. That's, I think, the question that I thought and was... And they didn't think they were going to lose. Yeah. So they didn't think that they were going to lose because they, in my opinion, um were circulating in a bubble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have a thought bubble, a Facebook bubble, an internet bubble, <laughs> a geographical location bubble, mm -hmm. just a whole lot of fucking bubbles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Um, if you don't venture outside your bubble, you don't really hear other alternative ideas or options. Yeah, so that's probably, in my opinion, one of the facts that came out of this election is that um, people tend to self-select the type of media that it is that they want to listen to, right. depending on whatever their worldview is. Did you come across that the day after the election, which I thought was epic, you know, like speaking to your friends? And asking them their opinion, like, hey, well, what's up? What did you think about the election? And how they were responding. Most people were, were uh, the sentiment of 
of extreme disturbance and fear. Disturbance and fear. Yeah. That's what I noticed too. Scared, mm -hmm. feared, crying, um, shaking, <laughs> uh, uh, um, threatening to kill themselves, Probably suicide. <laughs> yeah, all of this because of one man being elected, right? That is what I found the most interesting, is that people responded in such a way, it was like, really, Chicken Little, the sky was falling, mm -hmm. right? I've never seen He's anything like this. He's painted to be so awful that he couldn't possibly be elected, and then he was. Holy shit. But he's so awful. He's going to bring about the end of days and ruin this country. And yeah. X, Y, and Z. And this, this sentiment of catastrophizing. Yeah. The boogeyman. Yeah. Yeah, so if, if we were to look at, at the three sources, I guess I'm only looking at three sources now. As far as mainstream media is concerned, you have CNN and uh, NPR or your local news mm -hmm. or MSNBC mm -hmm. yeah those those will be the ones that just the liberal media yeah liberal media liberal media that's that's probably one of our problems too fact you know is that we have we have segregated media now mm -hmm. depending on your um, idea your ideology or the type of news that that you're going to want to listen to, be it liberal or conservative. Who has it said that the uh, editorials and opinions section of the news is the most accurate? Because at least it's labeled as such. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't... Who said that? I it remember. Some, some podcast, but it, was, it struck me as funny and a little bit true. It's like it, it's, it, it self-advertises right there. This yeah. is an opinion. Yeah. Whereas the rest of the news you take is objective, but it certainly is not. Yeah, so not objective. So not. So, um, yeah, so the facts so far, we got, we have president elect Trump. He won the, uh, electoral vote, mm -hmm. right? So he won enough states, um, to become president elect, uh, Hillary won popular vote. So Fair. yeah, she, you know, total vote count. We got 63 million for Hillary, mm -hmm. you know, plus or minus. Then you got 61 million for Donald Trump. Uh, his was spread out more. So mm -hmm. Hillary's hers tended to be more localized, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Depending on the region, mm -hmm. basically, you know, where they were coming from the cities and mm -hmm. the cities that are primarily protesting right now, mm -hmm. you know, you could say San Francisco, Oakland, Oregon uh, or Portland. East um, and West Coast. Yeah. Was it, what was it? Oh, New York. Yeah, New York mm -hmm. had, they started your favorite hashtag. Not my president. Not my president. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Big surprise come January 20th. <laughs> yeah, so um, this is what we have. And since I guess the media tends to be from those locations, you're going to constantly see this, this type of uh, news source, which again paints a false reality that the majority of Americans um, feel wronged mm -hmm. and yeah I think that, that that is a massive a huge failure on media they didn't do their job yeah they didn't uh, they didn't give people the proper facts that they needed in order for them to make a uh, uh, I don't even know what to call it to not say a rational or an informed vote. Do you think it changed how people voted? Uh, because if the media is more liberal. No, no, no. The media is not more liberal. Hmm. But when you see from the channels that are on primarily and then the ones that people are talking about, mm -hmm. they were informing people like Hillary was killing it. She was slaying it. Right. That the majority of Americans did not want Trump as president. But do you think that affected voting? Uh, do, yeah, I guess it, yeah, it did. How? Yeah, well, I think it galvanized a whole group of people, right? The Rust Belt. Mm -hmm. Um, it galvanized a buttload of uh, minorities and um, who were going to vote Republican because they were like, I'm listening to what it is that you're saying, and I'm listening to well, meaning I'm listening to one type of media and what it is that they're saying. And then I could be listening to the words that are coming from Donald Trump's mouth and they're not matching, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's it's not matching what it is that you're saying. So therefore it is going to affect my vote, right? Mm -hmm. You know, which means 
all these other people who were thinking that these other groups of people were going to vote on their side, on their team, um, just based off of if they were a minority or, or whatnot, um, didn't happen. It didn't, didn't pan through. Do you think the, the, the liberals that just assumed Hillary would win weren't as galvanized, so they didn't come out to vote? Mm, nope. They... But based off of the evidence, no, they weren't, you know, because you had less voters, mm-hmm. less voter turnout this year, even though 132 million people voted. Um, you had less turnout this year than you had in 2012, hmm. right? Yeah, so media didn't do their job. Um, I don't think so. That's my opinion. Hmm. What? <laughs> I don't know if I agree. Okay. Why? I think it's your uh, right, and and some might say responsibility to vote. Uh, and if you have an opinion about who you're going to vote for doesn't matter at least in my opinion it wouldn't matter what the poll said this person's gonna win or this person's gonna lose I'm still gonna vote for who I think is the best candidate uh, yeah and that's the media's job is to inform you on who the candidates are not what your opinions are about the who media, the candidate. do you think the media was overwhelmingly uh, complimentary to Trump and that's nope no so nope how would the media then not do its Mainstream job? media is supposed to is supposed to inform the public mm-hmm. about the facts. Mm-hmm. They did not do this, right? They were instead painting boogeyman. They but he won. Yes, he won because there's other media. Trump pounded the ground, mm-hmm. right? That's what he did. He mm-hmm. bypassed the media, right? He bypassed the media and he made a direct connection with people, mm-hmm. right? So mainstream media did not do their job. Mm-hmm. The media is supposed to inform the public, right? And they didn't do it. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what I'm saying. They didn't do their job. So everybody was thinking, oh, the boogeyman. But not everybody was thinking about that he was the boogeyman because obviously 61 million people who found some form of connection with him um, or just the idea of him decided to vote for him, right? Mm-hmm. And then they were like, okay. And then I know this for a fact because... I was I was um, searching the interwebs uh, the whole time, and I was listening to his his speeches or his talks or his mm-hmm. debates, and um, I was seeing it that he was a different beast, mm-hmm. right? Republicans couldn't even deal with him. Mm-mm. Democrats obviously couldn't deal with him, <laughs> right? Um, and the media did everything that they could, you know, possibly do to sway or convince the public that everyone should vote for Hillary, right? That's, Do you think that underhand that actually might have made him the underdog in a way, or a little more of a? Mm, no, 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 he wasn't the underdog at all because not in any of the debates. That was for sure. Yeah, but if the media painted him as a boogeyman, no mainstream media. Mainstream media. Yeah, mainstream media because this is this is the thing. So mainstream media is very small, mm-hmm. right? That's why you only had one hundred thirty-two million people. Whatever. Right. Um, We have a very big country and that is still small, small, small percentage of where it it is a little over half. Right. You know, so you got like 56 to 58 percent of Americans. You could say watch mainstream media. And then of that, you break that down into like 63 million are watching only maybe three channels. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, CNN, MSNBC. And listening to whatever their local NPR station is, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's a very, very small worldview to have, Mm -hmm. right? And they didn't inform them because every time I was listening to it, they were talking about Hillary is up in the polls. Hillary is doing this. Mm -hmm. Um, The the demon Trump um, has said something else bad. You know, he's a racist. He's a homophobe. He's misogynist. Mm -hmm. He's, they had all of them. You couldn't be anything worse than Trump. Mm -mm. He was the biggest monster. That's why people are freaking out. Yeah. They didn't do their job because I never met anybody in my life that had all those attributes. Like <laughs> right? Yeah. I never met. That is a super... Like Hillary called black people, black guys, super predators. Right? That would... Everything that they're saying that Trump is, right? All of those words... That sounds like a super predator, <laughs> right? He has all of these attributes that are just like Freddy Krueger isn't even that badass, right? <laughs> Jason isn't. They just kill you, right? You know, but they said that Trump was 
everything under the sun. Mm-hmm. I've seen no evidence of it. Mm-mm. Right? I don't know. Have you? No, he's crass. Mm-hmm. He's going to rub people the wrong way here and there, but no. Mm-hmm. I have not seen any evidence of Yeah. This. I, man, just thinking about being misogynistic, right? And all the women Trump's been with. Look at how strong his daughters are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some people would say that no, they can't. They're they're not. Or what would what would uh somebody from a liberal um framework say about his his daughters? I'd hate to say there'd probably be a lot of hating going on all around. Yeah, I heard I heard that they're brainwashed. I heard that they don't know anything about what it is to be a woman. Oh, um, because only a certain group gets to define what being a woman means. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So those are some of the things that I've heard, you know. So um, there haven't been a lot of facts. No. There's a lot of opinions. There's a lot of opinions. Yeah. And all of a sudden people are freaking out and catastrophizing based on what ifs, hypotheticals, and opinions. Yeah, what ifs, hypotheticals, and opinions. What is it, the post-truth? Oh, yeah, post-truth. So we're living in the post-truth and post-rational. <laughs> yeah so it's um i don't know kind of exciting kind of scary because yeah these uh uh protesting or the protesters and the way that they think about things it does scare me because um <laughs> living in san diego this is a pseudo liberal um community it Hmm. it does have uh, a conservative vibe to it because of the military but it's still pseudo liberal um and and uh yeah we had protesting going on (laughs) uh out here and yeah i would just hate hate for um liberals just to freak out and go all nazi on people just because they didn't agree with the outcome yeah. of an election it's no longer free thinking it's it's only um you're you're we we agree with everything you say as long as it fits within the confines of our in-group ideology mm-hmm. and everyone else is wrong and they're coming from a, 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 a origin of, of emotion anger fear and uh, not a lot of rational, uh, critical thinking. Hmm. Or, and not not coming to the table wanting to um, agree with the counter. Yeah, that's the big one. Yeah. Like, discourse. Yes. Hmm. What, what's the end-all goal of these protests? Is it to actually find a common ground so we can live harmoniously? Or is it just to be, ah, I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm oppressed? Yeah. It, w- w- what's the end game here? Don't know. Are we going to solve problems? Or are Don't we know. just going to be whiny and, and... Don't know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying, but that's that's the thing. I have no clue as to what it is, besides people are afraid, what it is that they're actually protesting. Right. I hear these words. I hear, you know, um, um, not my president. Uh, I can't even remember what the other ones wore that were going on, but just the, the, the disagreement and the disappointment and the fear of him being president, you know, with no, there, there's, there's nothing that they're bringing to the table. It goes back to what I think it, people are adopting this identity of, uh, perceived victimization uh, yeah victim so that they have something to protest again about yeah well i think it makes people it, it reinforces their identity and their in-group mm-hmm. membership yeah that's the thing i think that's more the end goal than actually solving the actual problems they're complaining about yeah yeah so whatever their problems are i'm gonna start larping just as hard as they're <laughs> larping right you know so live action role playing i i'm this is this is my understanding or my perception of how everybody is functioning in life now. They're just playing roles, and whatever those roles are. Yeah, of course, we're all playing roles. Yeah, but they're going at it big, right? You know, they're going at it huge because they're thinking that they are actually doing something heroic, 
when in fact I don't think they're doing anything heroic at all, right? Because they have no substance behind what it is that they're saying. Yeah, love. You loud. Know. They're just oh, loud. Oh, loud? Oh, I mm. thought you were going to say the, the love. love. No, there's Trump no hate. love yeah. when you're, you know, what, you're wishing hate upon the out group. Mm. You know, you're, you're demonizing Trump voters when they're your fellow Americans. Yeah. Rather than trying to understand, hey, you voted for him. I voted for her. Why? Oh, you think that? Why do you think that? I mean, there's none of that. It's just mm. you haters, you Nazis, you white supremacists, really? Yeah. Because no. we did the numbers, right? And some of the people that voted for Obama had to have voted for Trump in this election just based on the number game. Yeah. Yeah. Those people belong to the KKK and are white supremacists and no, and I, hate. I, I don't <laughs> even think there's. I don't even think that there is enough members or registered members. Of the KKK now. <laughs> of course not. To even do something like that. It, it's just weird, you know, these boogeymen. I mean, it's like, yeah, everywhere, right? And that's the thing, too. I'm just thinking about that, too. This year, it has to it has to fucking suck to be a white guy or a white person. It's the only... It's, the white guy is the only person in America who can't have that uh, victimization. No. So then they walk around as apologists with these safety pins. Yeah, which is, which is bullshit, you know. Um, Anthony was telling me because we were talking about this earlier and he was like yeah you know it's, it is kind of interesting you can have black power white, or you can have black power brown power Asian power um, Puerto Rican power <laughs> right like the, yeah <laughs> what was that meme with the uh, Power Rangers oh and no it's like blue power pink power green power and the white Power Rangers like uh uh uh-uh, uh yeah uh-uh. you can't have white power <laughs> right it, it's so weird right you can, you can have everything else under the rainbow right but you can't if you whatever yeah, this no. thing called white is it's like when i was in college you could have all the minority groups celebrating our uh, culture and differences but the white people couldn't yeah or else they were nazis or racists yeah so weird but you know what <laughs> i'm 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 gonna lark my ass off just as hard as they are right so so now i i just want to know i mean if if you are a liberal because i i'm not I'm an anarchist. I'm a libertarian. Yeah, you're a libertarian, right? Uh, uh, I'm an anarchist, so yeah, I'm not a liberal. So, I mean, if you want to know, um, um, a liberal's DNA does come from a libertarian. A conservative's DNA does come from a libertarian proper, Mm -hmm. right? Um, So these two groups in our two two, um, um, party system all originate from libertarians um but yet the libertarian can never win or get enough votes to even compete in the election that's what i find because it's bipartisan so it's us against them and libertarians don't believe in us against them it's everything for all of us yeah yeah let's be fair yeah right yeah that's that's um freedom is the number one yeah yeah, so we got a group of people, mm-hmm. liberals, who feel that the rise of the KKK is upon us. <laughs> um, they feel that mass, uh, a mass deportation plan with mm-hmm. probably tent cities and all sorts of things are just... Oh, internment camps and yeah. wall building. Yeah, and, that's, yeah. All, that's all set up. It's all ready to go and just ready to roll out for all of the, all of the not illegal immigrants, right, but all people who have Mexican background, right? This is oh. what they fear, right? You know, so I'm sorry, you're probably going to be, oh, shoot. they're okay. going to round you up. You know, <laughs> you're, you're going all out like uh, um, uh, the Jewish people wore it back in Germany, right? Because that's what's going to happen, oh, right? Um, and it's also going to happen to the Muslims, mm-hmm. right? Um, they're going to be put in some registry. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have a registry. You know, by the way, we are all in some registry. It's called social security and ID yeah. cards and driver's licenses. Yeah, yeah, good point, very good point. Yeah, because I'm just a number. Um, and then uh, what else? What else can happen? What what are what are the other things that can happen? Oh boy. Um, oh wait, yes, all the um, the rights of the homo LG LGBTQT R S L M N O P. Um, and, community and female reproductive rights. Yeah, that's all going to be gone, taken away. Mm-hmm. 
to keep one man, right? The mega boogeyman is going to take all of these rights away from Americans. We have checks and balances for a reason. We have a government designed for a reason. We have the Electoral College designed for a reason. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we can't have the tyranny of the majority. Right. Yeah, and that's what we're that's what I'm afraid of right now is the tyranny of the majority um feels that their needs have not been met. Mm -hmm. and they're going to try some crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. Hopefully not. There's always a small group of people that are going to make loud noises mm -hmm. and it's up to I think most Americans, when the dust settles, are level-headed and want good lives for themselves and their families and wants, want to have communities that live in harmony. And I think that will will be the driving force once everything kind of settles. Yeah, I hope so, because yeah. I'm going to push for that. What's the alternative? What's the alternative? No one wants to let anything like this snowball into what you're saying, but that's... That's uh, apocalyptic uh, movie no, type it's scenarios. Not. No, it's not. It's history. It's history. We've gone through this multiple times, right? It is not apocalyptic, right? This is history, and it, it and it's so. It, this can happen at the drop of a dime, right? You know, mm -hmm. it, yeah. You say, mm, yeah. No, I'm saying, mm, like you're right. Like, yeah, that's scary. Yeah, it, and, and then. Ten years later down the line, we're all scratching our heads and saying, well, how the happened? fuck did this happen? this happen? Yeah, you know, then all of a sudden we're going to we're going to shift back to something else. Right. You know, because people will get tired and then they will end up having another revolt against some other tyranny. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of cool because we always get to battle and have fights, you know, LARPing. LARPing's okay. fun. Yeah. <laughs> but. uh Yeah. I'm not digging this one so far because this one could be a nice, like a really polite type of tyranny rolling over. And those are the worst ones, right? Where, you know, they kill you with kindness and they say, just don't do that. You just, just be kind, please. Please be kind. You can't say that. You can't yeah. say that. Yeah. You can't say you that. You can't say that. Yeah. That's the worst. Yeah. And now when you say, I can't do something or say something now you want to control my thoughts mm -hmm. right and that is the worst type of oppression that you can ever do to any human being is control the way that it is that they think and so that's the one thing you should have freedom if you don't have any other freedom that's the one freedom you should be able to have mm -hmm. yeah your thoughts and your beliefs like you said your vote <laughs> <laughs> your vote my voice my vote yeah well yeah it's gonna be a, a fun four years it's gonna be a lot of work a lot a lot a lot of work cause we're gonna have to keep in ch each other in check it like, could be great at the end yeah I hope so cause I wanna be optimistic yeah I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna lark my ass off on this one so <laughs> yeah either, either way in my mind I'm gonna be a hero Right, so there you go. yeah, I'm gonna. They're gonna write about me in the future the same way that they wrote about the the the, the French Resistance. Is that right? right? Yeah, all that <laughs> shit. Right, <laughs> you know, since they're larping and they're thinking that they're going, they're going at it in one way. Then I'm gonna, hell, I might even Star Wars, Star Wars it and be <laughs> part of the the what was it, the Rebel Resistance. I think if we all strive towards freedom for everybody, then we're all heroes. And that sounds so incredibly cheesy when I think about it, but. It, I, I, that's what I think. Yeah, but freedom has to be first understood by everyone to mean the same thing. Exactly. Right, and we're not all in the same page right no, now when we talk not. about freedom, yeah. right? Because that means you should have the freedom, the basic freedoms, the freedom of speech, um, the freedom to assemble, right? You should have the freedom of thought. Well, people aren't ready to accept counter viewpoints. Mm hmm Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, if someone doesn't agree with them, it's they're not ready to either come to the table, meet, and and discuss why, uh, or accept. Hey, you think this, I think this, but we're gonna live and let live and have a harmonious community. Yeah. Instead, they want to tell people how to live. 
yeah. how to think. Homo religious. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they love telling people what to do and how to think. Nope. Yep. Yep, shaking my head on that one. <laughs> well, so, yeah, we went over the facts. We got the facts, which are straightforward. Anybody can go Google it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can easily find... Hey, Google is the facts. Yeah, <laughs> The Google facts. the media. <laughs> yeah, Google, right, if you want to you know to, facts. You just have to catch, cast a wide net, uh-huh. get your news and uh, information from multiple sources, see what's different, what's similar. Kind of have to be a critical thinker when you're, you know, and analyze where's this news coming from? Who's, what point of view is this news? Who's, who's sponsoring this news? Yeah. Yeah, basic research. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully people will knock it out. Or we'll have more groups of people that will be doing the job that the media is supposed to be doing Mm -hmm. by informing the public or even just informing themselves and then throwing it out there on the interwebs, right? (laughs) Yeah, and throwing it on the interwebs, you know, for it to be found one day. Yeah, so yeah, just keep rocking out. Just going to keep rocking out. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I guess to close out, just close out on that because we know what the facts are and we know what people um, know or we know what we know, right? <laughs> you know, because <laughs> uh, just because of doing some basic research, mm-hmm. right? Um, of just getting some basic statistics. Um, and we also know what the mainstream media wants you to know just by looking at the way that they have given out their information to their viewers. And that, and what we know of that is that they didn't do their job. Mm -mm. At least that's my opinion on it. They did not do their job properly. Not the way that it was intended to. But we know that now, so maybe we take on a little more responsibilities as our jobs as as citizens to get the facts. Yep. To open delve source. a little bit deeper. Mm-hmm. Yep. Open source media. No, not open source media. Open source intelligence agency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Enter and gather yeah. information. Yeah. Open source intelligence agency. <laughs> intelligence hunter gatherers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Going back to the roots, back to the basics. Well, I don't know. You got anything else you want to talk about? I'm optimistic. Uh, yeah, I'm optimistic. Yes, I guess I'll be optimistic with you too then. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, uh, yeah. That's it. Notes are done. Don't even have to look at them anymore. <laughs> yeah. All right, closing out. Tune in next time. Gone.